I said I was going to read the story, didn't I? Well, where's the Fable Franklin book? What? You lost the book on purpose! Little finger! Well, youngins, I was going to read the night before Christmas. But somebody got run over by a reindeer and lost the book. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Sugar, you're plum. What's... What? Say it again. What, what's this thing? Hello? Oh, oh, it's got the story on it. Okay. Listen up. <coughs> <laughs> no, don't put no eggnog. <coughs> Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stern, not even a mouse. He really do off a lot of stern, I'll tell you that. And the stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, <laughs> right, while spizzings of sugar plums danced in their heads. Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap. What? I don't know what a kerchief is, just listen. We just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Yeah, you better believe I had my shotgun. Double buckshot. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow Gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeers. Little bit. With little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dasher, now Prancer and Fixin, oh come on, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. They was in a hurry. They got to do all this in one night. If you don't hush, he ain't gonna stop here. I'll tell you that. As dry leaves that flew before a wild hurricane. I said that wrong. Had him. Oh, you can make the words bigger. Oh, why didn't you tell me that? Hossin friggin' Mark Chapoo. I'm watching my blood pressure. They was dashing away. As dry leaves that before the world hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew. I'm guessing the coursers are right here. With a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I turned in my head, what I drew in my head was turning around down the chimney. St. Nicholas came with a bound.
He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys was flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. Mine got a little blood on it still. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a poor fool cherry. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, <laughs> in spite of myself. A wink in his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. I can't make you spit all the way around. And laid his finger aside of his nose, and given a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprung to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle. And away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Now you'll get your friggin' for 